In this video, I want to talk about changing base points. So, we've defined the fundamental group of a space x relative to some base point x0, and we want to know what happens if we choose a different base point x1. If x1 and x0 are in the same path component of x, then we can choose a path in x with h0 equals x0 and h1 equals x1. So a path that starts at x0 and ends at x1. Um, and in general, there will be many choices of path you can make there. Um, and now we want to use this to get some relation between these, these two. And we're going to define a homomorphism, bh, uh, beta h, which goes from the fundamental group at x1 to the fundamental group at x0. And what does it do? Well, it takes a homotopy class of maps here, of loops here, and sends it to, all right, now I should say what we're actually doing here. So we've got x0, we've got x1, we've got this path from x0 to x1, which we've called h, and now we've got some homotopy class of loops, and I'll pick f here, at x1. So that's f. And so what we do to turn this loop into a loop at x0 is we go along h, then f, then h inverse. So we're going to go along h, then f, then h inverse. Okay, and I claim that this is a group homomorphism. Uh, what do we need to see that? Well, we see that um, beta h of the constant path at x1 is h composed with the constant path at x1 composed with h bar. Note that I'm not um, bracketing or putting parentheses in here anymore because we've shown that this operation is associative. Um, but this is just h, h bar, homotopic to, but then this is homotopic to the constant path at x0, which is the identity in this group. So it sends the identity to the identity, and then we need to see that bh of, okay, so we'll take two groups, two loops in here, so we'll take f, and then we'll multiply that with bh applied to some loop g, or some homotopy class of loops g. What's this? This is h, f, h bar, times h, g, h bar, which is h composed with f, composed with h, composed with H bar, sorry, H bar composed with H, composed with G, composed with H bar. But these two we can cancel, and so we get H composed with F, composed with G, composed with H bar. But that's just beta H applied to F times G. Hence, we've shown that this is this change of base point um, map is in fact a homomorphism. It's now quite straightforward to see that this change of base point homomorphism, which we had going from the fundamental group at x1 to the fundamental group at x0, where h was a path, and I'm going to write from x0 to x1. Um, 
So this is a bit of abusive notation. Um, with inverse beta h bar. Uh, so what should beta h bar do? Well, beta h bar goes from x1 to x0. Um, and we should see that, so that's going to take us from the fundamental group at x0 to the fundamental group at x1. And now we're going to use the same rule here, so this is going to take a loop at x0 to h bar f, h double bar, but that's just h. Okay. Um, and now we want to see that, that these are inverse um, group isomorphisms. So if we take bh and apply it to bh bar applied to some map f, well we're going to get bh applied to all right, h bar f h, but that's going to get us h applied to h bar, uh, h composed with h bar, composed with f, composed with h, composed with h bar. But now this is a loop, h h bar is a loop at c0, and again h h bar is a loop uh, sorry, x0. So this is just f. Uh, and so we've shown that these change of base point maps are isomorphisms. Um, so in general, when you have a space that's path connected, we'll just write pi 1 of x um, and, and leave out the base point. But I want to stress that this, these isomorphisms are determined by these paths and for different choices of paths you can get different isomorphisms.